civilization was far advanced and had brought forth a race of supermen whose mental and physical powers were developed to the absolute peak of human perfection. One of the planet's leading scientists, sensing the approach of doom, placed his infant son in a small rocket ship and sent it hurtling in the direction of the Earth just as Krypton exploded. The first animated adaption of Superman was the Flesher Famous Studio Superman series that ran from 1941 to 1943. The first nine shorts were produced by Flesher Studio and the last eight shorts were produced by Famous Studio. I personally slightly prefer the Flesher produced shorts but do highly enjoy all 17. These shorts are responsible for giving Superman a new power, as Superman previously only leaped except for a few artist heirs in a couple of comic books. But with the publisher's permission, the superhero would now have the ability to fly, and would also write it into the superhero's comics from then on. The shorts would influence so many animators and adaptions of the character, and there's no question why. There's something about the animation of the 40s era that draws you in. It's really stunning. I really love the animation style of that time. This animation adaption of the superhero would introduce a lot of people to the character. The first short, The Mad Scientist, also known as just Superman, would appear in theaters on September 26, 1941. Each short would start with a newspaper headline. Followed usually by Lois Lane running off by her lonesome for a story and getting herself in some sort of trouble. Oh, Lois, want me to go over there with you? No, thanks. You'd probably say if you saw the monsters. And Superman comes to the rescue, saving Lois and defeating the bad guy. Each short would end with a newspaper heading of Superman saving the day, with Clark Kent saying, nice going, Lois, and Lois then saying, it was easy, thanks to Superman. Nice going, Lois. Another great scoop for you. It was easy, thanks to Superman. And what Kent and Lois would say at the end of each episode is a little different each time, and the famous produced shorts are slightly different in the structure, and I really stretch the word slightly. There are other Superman adaptions I like, mostly the Christopher Reeves and the animated series, but the Flesher Superman is at the top of the list. I didn't grow up a big Superman fan. The Flesher shorts really opened me up to the character and made me love the superhero a lot more than I did before viewing these classics. It takes you back to a golden era of animation. These shorts were made by some of the most influential animated pioneers of all time. Easily up there with Walt Disney himself. All in all, these Superman shorts are just really fun. And definitely worth viewing over and over again.